Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you had a good weekend. I missed you this weekend. Um, Parker's feeling a lot better, so thank you for um, thinking about him and praying for him. He's feeling a lot better. All right, let's start with our good morning song. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. The day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, class. What are we going to do today? Read, 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 write, 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 and think, think, think with all our might. Who's going to be my helping hand today? Who's going to be my helping hand today? The helping hand today is going to be Major. And Major sent his sentence in already. And he's got his choice for the calendar. So let's get started on our calendar. We have some things to add today. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And be thinking about what this month is. What is this month? right it's April we're getting close to the end of April aren't we days of the week Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday okay guys yesterday was Sunday so that means today is Monday, that's right. And, hmm, today is Monday, but our calendar says Sunday. That's odd, isn't it? I wonder if it's because I had my calendar ready last night, guys. Let's refresh it and see what happens. And we might have to say our days of the week again, and let's see if it goes to Monday. Because yesterday was Sunday, and today is Monday. Okay, let's say those days of the week one more time. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now we're on the right day because yesterday was Sunday and that means today is Monday. Okay, so Miss Gibbons will remember from now on, I don't need to get my calendar ready the day before, or it'll have the day before's day. And if yesterday was April the 19th, that means that today is April the 20th. That's right. Let's read our sentence at the bottom. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. So it's April 20th and it's 2020, which some people call 2020. So it's April 20, 2020. Lots of 20s today, which is a two and a zero. Let's move our Monday rectangle. Monday. And our bigger 20 rectangle. 20th. Great job. Okay, so now we've had three friends in our class lose a tooth this month. We have Levi lose a tooth on April the 8th. Major lost a tooth on April the 15th. And this weekend on April the 18th, Addison lost a tooth. Whoa, that's three people who have lost a tooth this month. The same month that we read about Junie B when she lost her tooth. All right. Major's our helping hand today, and he chose the planets as his background. Here's planet Earth, and not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow is Earth Day. We can take care of our Earth 
by recycling, by throwing trash away instead of um, on the ground. If it's something that you just can't recycle, instead of throwing it outside and leaving it on the ground where it can hurt the earth, we need to throw it in the garbage can or in the recycling bin. Um, I thought of another way that we can take care of the earth and that is we can plant new trees. If there's a place for you to plant a tree, a tree can help to make the air clean and fresh so we can plant new trees to take care of the earth. Good choice, Major. Okay, let's work on our daily news. We're gonna start the way that we always do with the word good. Now, good starts my sentence. So the letter that starts good, it needs to be uppercase or lowercase? Uppercase. G, G, that's a G. What two letters go together to say uh? It's two O's. Good D. Doorknob first. Good morning, M morning. Let's skip two spaces and make our M. Mm. What letter is that? M. M. Or. What two letters go together to say or? O R. Morning. N. That's right. Good morning. What three letters go together to say ing? I N G exclamation point. Oh, I've got a little bit more room today. I wrote just a tad bit smaller, which is good because Major, his news is a little bit longer, so we might need a little more room. I still think I need to go to the next line for today. Two day. What's the first part of two day? Two, and that's a sight word. I'm gonna start with an uppercase T and the rest are gonna be lowercase. Two day. What three letters go together to spell day? D A Y. Today is. What two letters spell is? I S. What is today? Yesterday was Sunday. So today is Monday. Let's make our Monday, our M, I mean, uppercase, and the rest of the letters lowercase because Monday is the name of a day. And what month is it? April. Let's make our A uppercase, but the rest lowercase. April the... Yesterday was April the 19th, so today is April the 20th. 2020, 2020, period. Okay, here is what Major said for his news. We'll see, I think I can fit this, Major. I've been watching Monster House and Yo Gabba Gabba. I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese, Disney World, and I really want to be a monkey. That's very interesting, Major. You are so creative. All right, so first we're gonna say Major has been watching Monster House and Yo Gabba Gabba. So we're gonna write Major's name. Major has been, now Ben, it may be on the first grade sight words. Major has been Watching. What sound do you hear at the beginning of watching? W. That's right. W says w. Watch. Ing. What three letters go together to say ing? I N G. Major has been watching Monster House. Now, Monster House is the name of a show, so the first letter of monster is going to be uppercase. And the first letter of house is going to be uppercase. Major has been watching Monster House and Yo, Y, O, Gabba, G, A, 
Gab. Uh, Gab. Period. He wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese Disney World and really wants to be a monkey. Okay? He wants, that's one of our fourth nine week sight words. So here's the word want. He want to go to Chuck E. Cheese or he wants, wants to go to lots of uppercase letters that start the special names of people and places and shows. Chuck E. Cheese. He really, wait, he wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. The place belongs to Chuck E. Cheese, so we've got an apostrophe S. And Disney. D. D. Is world and let's see if we can fit all this. He wants. There's want again, and we're gonna put the s on the end of it. And he wants to t o. B A M K exclamation point. Oh, we just made it fit, Major. Look at all of those words. Wow. Okay, are y'all ready to read? I know you can do it. Y'all are such good readers. Here we go. Good morning. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Major has been watching Monster House and Yo Gabba Gabba. He wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese's and Disney World, and he wants to be a monkey. <laughs> You're so funny, Major. Good job. Great job. We needed that workout, didn't we, on our daily news. All right, so we've been talking about kites we read a story about how kites originated from China over 2,000 years ago. And the name of this story, I want to look real quick because I think this story actually is not set in China. I think it's set in Japan. We'll read it and find out. It's called A Carp for Kimiko. Not a kite for Kimiko, a carp for Kimiko. What's a carp? Do you know what a carp is? A carp is a fish, and those kites are shaped like fish, aren't they? So this book is called A Carp for Kimiko, but it has a picture of kites that look like carps. And they're kind of open right here, so wind can get inside of them and make them float and fly. This book was written by Virginia Kroll, and it was illustrated by Catherine Roundtree. A Carp for Kimiko. So these pictures show me that instead of being set in China, this book is set in Japan. And it doesn't look like it was written 2,000 years ago, even though we read that kites may have originated 2,000 years ago. We all use kites now, don't we? Kimiko watched Papa putting up the pole. I must fix the lowest hook this year, he said. For my kite, asked Kimiko hopefully. No, for baby Yukio's, Papa answered. Kimiko ran to the calendar and counted the days. The fifth day of the fifth month would be here soon. She would ask again tomorrow. Kimiko peeked around the door to see them. The fish kites lay flat. Kimiko knew they were saving their energy for the special day. Then they would fight the current, dancing and diving on waves of air against the blue sky and the frothy white clouds. Kimiko admired Teo's red and yellow fish. 
and Tommy's blue and green fish, but it was Yukio's that made her sigh with longing. Orange and black and white, she said, the perfect calico carp. If I had a daughter, she said, I would let her have a fish to fly high in the blue sky, and it would be just like Yukio's. Then Kimiko pouted. Someday I will have a daughter, but that is much too long to wait. The next morning, Kimiko sipped her breakfast tea and asked most politely, May I have a carp to fly this year? Papa said, You know that we fly the carp for sons only, little daughter. But the festival is no longer called Boys Day. It is called Children's Day, Kimiko said. I am a child too. Yes, agreed Papa, and we celebrate you as well, but we cannot change the tradition. That's kind of not fair, is it? Only boys can fly kites on Children's Day. But that's a tradition that they've celebrated for many, many years. And so sometimes I think it's hard for people. People don't want to change traditions sometimes. See how they're sitting on the floor to eat? That's a Japanese tradition. In Japanese culture, people sit on cushions or just flat on the floor while they eat. And they have chopsticks right there. But I'm as brave as Taro and as strong as Tomi and much, much bigger than Yukio. Yes, Mama repeated, but that is the tradition. Kimiko frowned and Mama said, do you remember what March 3rd was just two months ago? Also, see their shoes? They're not wearing their shoes right now. Kimiko thought for a minute, and then she remembered. Yes, it was the doll festival. We unpacked all the special dolls and set them up on bright cloth, and I asked Hana and Matsuko to come for rice cakes and candy. Mama smiled. Yes, a day just for you. Not absolutely just for me, Kimiko recalled. I shared it with Yukio, too. Ah, yes, Mama remembered. You did let him come to your party, too. Even if he is a boy, Kimiko said. Even if he is a boy, Mama laughed. Mama asked Kimiko, Yes, little daughter? Do you think we could unpack the dolls so I could see them? Mama shook her head. You know the tradition, Kimiko. The dolls are not for playing. They are unpacked only once a year for their very special festival. But Mama, once a year is much too long to wait, Kimiko argued. Mama sighed. You remind me of the carp, Kimiko, always wanting to swim against the current. Kimiko's voice was butterfly soft. Just one, she dared to whisper. Mama looked into Kimiko's eyes. You have convinced me, little daughter, but, she said, holding up a firm finger, just one. Kimiko bowed. Thank you, Mama. Then she worried a bit. Are we breaking the tradition, Mama? No, little daughter, not exactly. You might say we are merely bending it a little, like I did by sharing my doll festival day with Yukio. Yes, like you did by sharing your day with Yukio, Mama said. Children's Day dawned on Kimiko's village. Papa hung the carp kites. One, two, three. Kimiko held her breath. One by one, they puffed to their fullest and swam, flicking their tails sideways. Big, brave fish using their strength against the current. Kimiko breathed out and exclaimed, Beautiful. Oh, how I wish I had a carp. But she's not pouting anymore. See, she's smiling. And they're not really swimming. They're just kites and that have caught the wind inside their sails. And it looks like they're swimming just like a carp, doesn't it? It looks like Kimiko has a good attitude. She's been really nice about her brothers having a kite, even though she doesn't for this day. Tommy yelled, See mine? It is the strongest. Taro shouted, Mine is the fullest, see? Little Yukio waved his chubby hands in delight. And there's Kimiko smiling. I feel bad for her that she doesn't have one. That night, Kimiko closed her eyes to sleep. 
In her dreams, the colorful carp danced wildly on the wind. When morning came, sunshine crept under Kimiko's eyelids and pushed them awake. Kimiko blinked and blinked again. She saw a bowl of water on a tray glistening and gleaming. Kimiko's eyes grew wide with wonder. She peered into the cool, clear water at the beautiful fish that boldly bobbed up to the surface, all orange and black and white, the perfect calico carp. Kimiko padded out to the table where Mama and Papa were sipping their breakfast tea. For me, she asked simply. For you, Mama said. A carp for Kimiko. She got something even better. She got a real carp, didn't she? The end. Oh, I really like that book. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Let's practice our ABC names and sounds. Let's use uppercase letters today. I'll come closer since they're kind of small. Okay, you ready? We're gonna say letter is and the name and then sound is. Here we go. Letter is A, sound is A. Letter is B, sound is B. Letter is C, sound is K. Letter is D, sound is D. Letter is E, sound is E. Letter is F, sound is F. Letter is G, sound is G. Letter is H, sound is H. Letter is I, sound is I. Letter is J, sound is J. Letter is K, sound is K. Letter is L, sound is U. Letter is M, sound is M. Letter is N, sound is N. Letter is O, sound is O. Letter is P, sound is p. Letter is q, sound is qu. Letter is r, sound is r. Letter is s, sound is s. Letter is t, sound is t. Letter is u, sound is a. Letter is v, sound is v. Letter is w, sound is w. Letter is x, sound is x. Letter is y, sound is y. Letter is z, sound is Z. Good job. Okay, and last, we're going to look at our sight words. You've been practicing, so I'm just going to hold them up. But I'm not going to hold them up for long. And before I say the word, I want to see if you can say the word. Let's see, I've got some upside down. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Now hold it up. See if you can say it before me. Here we go. One, two, three. Won't. Like I want a piece of candy. She. She is so smart. Saw. Kimiko saw a cart in her room. Now. Now boys and girls can have the same kinds of traditions. They can all fly kites. They. They are my friends. Put, I will put up my toys. There, there are lots of sunny days to play outside. Was, yesterday was raining. B, I will be so good. Out, we can go out to play. Then, first I will eat breakfast, then I will do my work. Went. We went to the store. Home. We've been spending a lot of time at home. I hope you're learning all of your sight words. And if we know all of these, I might put some more on here, like some of our tricky sight words from earlier in the year. And I might start adding some first grade sight words since y'all are doing so, so good. All right, I'll see you this afternoon. We're gonna start a brand new Junie B book. Let me show it to you. Here's the cover. Junie B, first grader, one man band. What in the world do you think that she has gotten herself into in this book? 
one-man band. We'll read it this afternoon, okay? I'll see you later.